We all have one thing in common. We want to be good at something. No matter if it is sports, science, dating, speaking a new language, playing an instrument, or in my case, filmmaking. We try to get better and better to one day call ourselves a master of this craft. Nowadays, everyone on the internet claims to learn something incredibly difficult within just a couple of days. I learned Italian in seven days. How to get the splits in one day. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I learned to play guitar in 24 hours. Learning the ancient art of bonsai in one day. Really? Bonsais? I mean, if it's only one day? Obviously, it is impossible to properly learn these crafts in just a couple of days, but I feel like it has an impact on the way we approach things. We are impatient and want to see instant success, but that's not how things work. I started flying drones almost three years ago and obviously I was miserable at flying them in the beginning. Yes, I still had long hair at that time. <laughs> I started to fly more and more and I took this thing with me whenever I could. No matter if it were mountains or lakes, I practiced flying all the time until one day this happened. Yep. I crashed it into the highest tree in the whole area. It was probably something like 20 meters high. I climbed the tree, it was super sketchy, almost died. <laughs> and yeah, I got my drone back. And after that, I crashed again. The thing is that I always kept trying until one day there was a mountain, so I lost signal and I lost my drone. So I didn't fly for a long time, but then at my last job, I flew with the drone that they had there. I also crashed this one a couple of times, but please don't tell anybody. <laughs> And finally, a few days ago, I bought myself a new one. See, the point I'm trying to tell you here is that it often takes so much longer than we think to become really, really good at something. And in order to become a master at a craft, we have to make so many mistakes. Just checking out the river right now. Honestly, this landscape here always remembers me of British Columbia and Canada. It's just so beautiful here. Let's check out this spot. We all want to get from the beginner level to mastery as quickly as possible. If we drew a graph with the time and the skill level for all of these geniuses on the internet, it would probably look like this. Boom, master within a week. Just as easy as that, right? <laughs> no, in reality, this curve doesn't really look like it. It takes years or even a lifetime to master a craft. I mean, directors like Christopher Nolan or Quentin Tarantino devoted their whole lives to this craft of making movies, and that's why they make great movies. At the beginning, your skill is going to increase very, very quickly, but from time to time, the curve is going to flatten and you won't see as big improvements as in the beginning. But that doesn't mean that there is no progress. It just takes more time because you already have great knowledge about the topic and the good thing about this curve is that there is no way that it goes down no way that you get worse at what you do unless you don't do it at all for a long time that's why you should follow those three simple steps learn make repeat this is one thing I got hardwired into my brain. It's not just about learning, watching tutorials, reading books and everything. It's about actually practicing these things. Learning, making and repeating those things. Because consistency is the key when it comes to developing a really, really good craft. So this is also the reason why I just drove into the middle of nowhere to fly my drone here. Like some of these drone shots were actually pretty cool, right? I haven't seen them on a big screen, so you are the judges, but I feel I feel really good about them. So the number one reason why people quit is because they fail at some point and they just give up. I feel like there's a bad stigma with the word mistake. As soon as we fail, we are embarrassed and we feel ashamed. But to be honest, a mistake is one of the greatest things that can happen to you if you want to get better. 
because with every mistake comes a lesson as well. I mean, if I didn't crash my drone into that tree three years ago, I wouldn't be as careful flying it sideways today because I know that it doesn't have side sensors. Wow, genius. <laughs> and also, if I didn't lose my drone up in the mountains, I wouldn't know that my drone easily loses signal if there's an object in between. Well, sure, you can look up those things on the internet and you don't have to learn it the hard way like me by crashing drones. But what I'm trying to say is that to truly learn something, you first have to experience a failure. I mean, come on guys, how sick is this spot? <laughs> About one year ago, when I already had some experience in filmmaking, and I got my first well-paid job, I thought to myself, wow, I made it. I thought there was nothing else to learn in this craft of filmmaking. I thought I was just at the top and it's not going to get any better than this. But with the time, I realized that I was completely wrong. There's always something else to learn and I still today don't consider myself as a master of my craft. Sure, I got a little bit better over the years. I mean, I now know how to pick the right lenses, adjust my camera settings and how to direct actors. But if I didn't make all of these small mistakes along the way, I wouldn't know how to handle these situations today. Back then I chose the wrong lenses and it was too dark so my footage got grainy or I was so caught up in my tech stuff because I hadn't figured it all out so I didn't get the emotions out of the actor that I wanted to. So in the end, if you want to get better, mistakes have to happen and the sooner the better. Okay, last spot for today. Um, the sunset was incredible. I got some really cool drone shots um, of the lake and the mountain pass here. By now you should know that I like to make mistakes. <laughs> I would probably say mistake is a trait of discomfort for knowledge. That's how I like to see it. Wow, motorbikes. And that's why I like to push myself into uncomfortable and unknown situations because yeah, probably I'm going to make more mistakes there, but I'm also going to learn a lot more and I'm going to improve a lot more. You don't really get better in a language by just repeating one sentence all over again. And you also don't get better in photography if you just shoot portraits. I mean, you, you're getting good at shooting portraits, but you're not getting better in, in the craft as a whole. That's why I tried to shoot anything that came along my way. I tried to shoot people. What? Okay, that sounds wrong. I tried to take photos of people, of sports, of cars, of landscapes, anything that came along my way. And obviously I felt weird doing these things for the first time, directing a model when I didn't do it before, but it just helped me a lot to improve in the specific niches and also to transfer the skills in between those niches motorcycles. We tend to think that as soon as we make a mistake or we do something wrong, it throws us back in our process to becoming really good at something. But to be honest, it actually speeds up the process. So I'm telling you, make more mistakes. As stupid as it sounds, it works out in the end. Don't see them in a negative way, but instead embrace them by learning from mistakes. And in the end, you'll be able to call yourself a master. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a little bit different to the other ones, but... Yeah, it would be great if you let me know in the comments what thing you want to get really good at. If you like this video, make sure to like it and to share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos in the future, click subscribe and ring the bell. That's it for today and I hope you guys have a great day. See you.